Miss Amy at the Grass Valley Library. Thank you so much for joining me for this week's episode of Random Acts of Science. This week, as part of our summer learning program, we are doing a deep dive into the country of Egypt. And Egyptians really valued and were fascinated with the afterlife, which is what happens after we die. So they believed that if the body was preserved, that that would be a better experience for people who had died and were moving on into the afterlife, especially their kings and queens and um, pharaohs and all of the um, rich and important people in their culture. So they would preserve the body by embalming it, which is what we do today to bodies as well, but they did it in, with the materials that they had on hand. So we're gonna try something similar with um, an apple. This experiment takes about a week. You're gonna have to come back and see how it went, um, but we're gonna see what happens when we embalm or mummify an apple. So for this experiment, hopefully you have all these things at home. You're gonna need an apple. You're gonna need a knife and hopefully a parent that can help you with that. You're gonna need two plastic cups, um, some table salt, and some baking soda. And that's pretty much it. So let's walk through how this works. The first thing you're gonna do is take your apple. You're gonna cut it in half. You're gonna take one of those halves, take a bite. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna need that. The other, <clears throat> the other half, you're gonna cut in half again. Until you have two quarters. With each one of the quarters, you're gonna put them in one of the plastic cups. Just like that. So one apple is gonna be the control. And in an experiment, the control is the one that you don't do anything to. So we know what would happen if you didn't do all the other things we're gonna to do to this apple. So one is the control, that we'll get back to in just a bit. With the other apple, we are going to mummify it. We are going to add a desiccant. So a desiccant is just a fancy word for a substance that draws moisture out of another material. So for it, the Egyptians case, they used a substance called natron, which is a naturally occurring um, mineral that they had around them. We're gonna use salt and baking uh, soda for this. So, a, so what the desiccant does is it draws the moisture. It's going to draw the moisture of this apple, but it would also draw it out of a body. Um, and without moisture, the bacteria that want to get in there and feed on that flesh or the dead plants or any other living thing and start breaking it down into compost, um, they don't have anything to work with. They live for the water. They need water in order to make that process work. So we're going to try to get all the water out of this apple and see what it looks like a week from now as it's after it's been embalmed for a week. So, so you're gonna put the apple in the cup and then we're gonna add two and a half tablespoons of salt. So let me do that. I'm gonna mix it together. So I'm gonna put it in here first. That's about two and a half. And then I'm gonna add five and a quarter tablespoons of baking soda. So now that we've got that all together, we're gonna mix it up a bit. And we're gonna pour it over the top of this apple. I'm gonna cut a little bit of this apple off just to make sure we have enough to cover it all. And we're gonna pour it in there. We kinda of wanna shake it up, make sure it's all covered. Okay, so now we've got both of our apples and we are ready to wait to put them away in storage and wait for a week. So find a place in your home or a container that is dark and cool and dry. You're gonna put both um, apples away for a week. At the library, I ended up using an extra locker that no one was using. I put them inside, I covered up all the gaps where the um, light would come in. I duct taped it shut so no one would open it and I put a sign on it that threatened a curse if they did. So hopefully you have a place in your house that you can construct um, to keep these safe for a week and then when you when you come back we'll have we'll see what happens. So best of luck and thank you for joining me today for another episode of Random Acts of Science. <laughs>